Hey, welcome back to Rust Twitter Garage and the 51 Hudson build. Check out what I got. Check it out. Another early Buick. This one is a 1938 Century. Been sitting for a long time. Very, very cool car. Uh, I call these the uh, gangster cars. I have a, a 37 Buick that's similar, but does not have side mounts because it's only a, a smaller special. This is the, the Century, which is actually the small body with the biggest engine. That's, that was the, the way they did it. And this one's got dual side mounts, which is the main reason I bought the car, just because side mounts are just awesome. Missing a couple pieces here and there, which I'm hoping to get at the next swap meets. I need tops for my... Uh, my running lights there and I think I have one broken trunk hinge these cars are awesome suicide doors and running boards perfect for machine gun action original type interior other than the mice getting to it scratch my fender they are very cool cars so this one will be on future videos. Not saying it's next, because I still need to finish the Turbo Buick and uh, a couple other very cool cars that uh, I have in line. But just to say, if you like seeing, I'll say not the normal cars being built, because you don't see a lot of the stuff that I'm being, uh, that I am playing with done it's not very common you don't see very many of them on youtube but if you like seeing i'll call it different type cars subscribe to my channel there's going to be a whole lot more but in the meantime let's get back to the hudson so the hudson this is the current state uh i didn't do much videoing of this stuff but i reassembled uh the front end Got all the pieces and parts put back in. You see I have my uh, H4 headlights in there. Those are, I think, uh, like around 2,000 Jeep headlights. If you uh, look through my video history, you'll see a short video on how to install those in your older car. They're actually pretty much a drop-in. All you need is an adapter harness to plug into uh, your factory headlight connector and then they go into those uh, Jeep headlights. I can't remember the, the number of the connector offhand, but I did uh, in the video, I think, or in my comments, I posted a link to the adapter so you can do that. They, they're really a neat upgrade if you don't mind the look of them. Um, I think they fit this car just fine. And you get a, a modern H4 bolt. I still have to get my wheels. I have two 15 inch steel wheels. I gotta get two more, which I'm, I think I'm gonna get later today. I got my little Hornet emblem on the trunk there. And I still have some, some wiring and stuff to do. Uh, the good news is, a friend of mine is going to be doing all the lettering on the car. And that's gonna happen probably uh, next week. So hopefully before October, all the lettering will be done. Right now, what I'm doing is starting to work on some of the inside stuff. I took my dash out. Uh, on these Hudsons, it's really easy to remove. It just has Phillips head screws on the bottom and some studs along the top. And the dash comes right out of the car. So I'm working on that now. And that's what we'll be doing some work with today. So this is what I'm working with right now. I've taken out uh, dashboard and interior trim pieces that I want to paint. And I blasted them all to get the, the paint off. And now what I'm doing is just sanding everything with a 400 before they get primed. Because when you blast stuff, it leaves kind of a, a rough surface, hard to tell there. But that's kind of, you see how light gray that looks and then you sand it and things get smooth again. So right now I'm just sanding all this stuff down to get it ready to spray. And um, 
I'm going to try some something different. I'm going to spray a black base coat on everything, and then I'm going to hit with a blue flake. I love to use metal flake. I have a lot of fun with metal flake. I just think it's awesome, especially on the dashes. This is my dashboard. And uh, I went back and forth on this, whether I was going to modify this dash and put like a, a newer style radio in the, the uh, dash itself. But I think I'm going to leave everything looking pretty stock other than the gauges, which will be in the, the head unit there. So all these things I'm going to clean up, paint black, and hit with blue metal flake. And right now it's like middle of September, so the weather's starting to turn here in the Northeast. I can probably... Yeah, I consider November 1st when things start really going south. So it's still warm enough to paint, but it's no longer 80 degrees out anymore. So I have to take advantage of the uh, the weather while I can and get this uh, get this painted. So let me get this uh, rest of stuff sanded. And I'm going to try today at least to get the primer coat on these things. fan off for a minute everything's got a quick coat of primer on it dash is hanging a couple of the wheels so we'll let that flash off and then uh, put some black on I don't think I'll be doing flake today I think it'll just be the black let it set up overnight and tomorrow do the flake So shut down the exhaust fan for a minute. We'll fire it back up. Everything is black. And the thing is, I'm actually trying to put a blue interior in this car. So why black? Well, I'm going to try something, like I said before. I'm going to try to spray blue flake over the black. And hopefully it just comes out looking like, I don't know, dark dark bluish flake kind of thing. I sprayed blue flake over blue before and it works fine. I just want to try something different. You know, it's fun to, it's fun to experiment. So I even sprayed all the, the screws for the trim. They're all black. And uh, these are two of the wheels I'm going to use. I'm going to get a couple more tonight. Hopefully if they're what the guy said they are. And I had a little extra black paint. So I just sprayed the inside of the rims. Doesn't matter, but I had it. So whatever. Yeah. So this stuff's going to dry overnight, and this is not expensive paint. This is a leftover can, which is now done, of Valspar tractor paint. Yep, that stuff's about, I think it was maybe $30 a gallon when I bought it. And uh, they don't sell it anymore. They used to sell it at Tractor Supply, and when they were uh, switching over to the 
the brand they have now, I think it's Magic or something. All this stuff went on sale and I bought <laughs> a lot. I bought a lot of stuff. But that paint works fine for me. I mean, you reduce it with uh, naphtha and you have to use a hardener in it. As long as you use a hardener in it, you're good to go. If you don't put a hardener in that paint, don't spray it on anything you care about because it's never going to dry. Never going to dry. You'll never be able to sand it. it. It's just like gum. But if you use the hardener, it's just like any other paint. You can clear over it. You can put flake over it like I'm going to. You can do whatever you want with it. It works out pretty good. So that is it. Nothing expensive and nothing special. So now it's time to just let this stuff dry. And I think the weather's supposed to be decent tomorrow as well. I have some clear left over from another project. I don't know how much. I have to check. And I bought a bag of flake. I don't know if I have enough, but again, hopefully it's enough. I don't usually flake this many parts. I usually just do the dash. But uh, yeah, and going over the black, I don't know how much flake it's going to take to give it a, a blue tinge, I guess you could say. I don't know. You know, maybe we're going to end up with a black interior. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm just rolling with it. I don't care. It's just for fun. All right. I'm going to turn this exhaust fan back on and get the smell out of here and go have some lunch. Let this dry overnight. When we come back, it'll be the next day. All right, it's the next day. Check out my hair bouffant. All the cool kids wear them. All right, so I thought I was going to be doing flake today. However, I'm not because I got wheels to paint. I bought two more uh, steel wheels last night. Two more 15 by six. So now I have a set of four. Nice witness marks on the ground. Gotta have that. So I'm gonna paint the wheels today. I just shot some primer on those, obviously. And I've been running around doing lots of other things today because I don't ever have a day where I just can go in the garage and do nothing else. It just doesn't work that way. Pooey, excuse me. You know, so I gotta like maximize the hours in a day. So. In between other things, I just had to go pick up an S10 rear a little while ago. Uh, not that I need it, but it was cheap, so I grabbed it. And uh, this morning I was dealing with junk, like that Tahoe, which needs to get out of here. And uh, yeah, so in between all that, I work on the car. So right now, I'm going to crank up the monster exhaust fan and spray these wheels. Ew. And because... We're just having fun here. We're gonna play junior chemist. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just gonna dump the paint into my liner, add some hardener, some reducer, mix it up until it looks like it falls off the stick nice, and that'll do. As for paint, you can tell this can's been sitting around a while. Is that bright enough for you? That is Tractor Supply Massey Ferguson Red. In a can I probably bought five years ago. They don't even sell this stuff anymore, the Ballast Par. Good stuff, but hey, I bought every color they had on the shelf, I think, when uh, when they were discontinuing all this stuff. So this was maybe, maybe $25 for a gallon. Not much at all. I doubt it was even that. So I'm just going to throw, wow, I'll mix maybe, I don't know, half a quart. Should be more than enough to, to spray these wheels. And because uh, there's always a little extra left in the gun, it always works that way. I got another wheel that I primed, a fifth wheel. It's a 15 by 7, so I don't plan on using it. But, hey, let's paint that one red, too. All right, this is going to make a mess. I know it. It's all right. Let's just go for it. Ah, oh, you didn't. I didn't plan on that. A mess is a mess. Now I got to clean up. Notice I'm not even straining this stuff or anything. Doesn't matter. Ugh. All right, we're going mad scientist here. I just dumped in some naphtha to thin it and some hardener. going with it.
Got to be half a quart in there. That'll work. Oh my God, what a mess. All right, I'm going to crank up the huge exhaust fan, which should blow all the fumes out that way. Because I'm not going to put a respirator on for this. This is going to be real fast, so not the smart thing to do, probably. But uh, we'll try to do it quick. So I don't know if this will show. This might be a very loud video because this fan cranks. The other thing is, oof, my gun doesn't like these liners, these plastic liners, or at least this gun. I got a lot of guns. This is just a cheapo gun I've had forever. So I can't even like lock it into the cup. I have to hold it. It's interesting. You'll see. We got some red wheels. Yeah. They look so sweet on this video. Just like everything else on this car. If you stand back like 10 feet, man, it looks good. So they're nice and red. I hit them with uh, what I call flow coats. You, know, you, you just spray it so heavy that the paint starts just kind of running and flowing where it needs to be. And uh, then you're, you make sure you have full coverage that way. So, you know, that that's... That's my painter's tech tip of the day. You know, let the paint just run wherever it needs to run. It's all good. All right, that's cool. So I don't think I'm gonna get to flake today on these. I think that's gonna have to wait until next week. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. So these guys gotta dry. Um, I gotta clean up that. <laughs> that looks like a murder scene. That's good, but yeah, I gotta throw all that out. And uh, yeah, just do a little bit of cleanup. And uh, man, I can't wait till I can clean this garage out. <laughs> this place is a wreck. Anyway, I think that'll be it for this video. I think I've done enough damage for the day, for sure. Yeah, I have. Um, what can I say? If you actually watch this stuff, thanks. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyway, I'm having fun. So, uh, yeah. So I'm not even going to say what I'm going to be doing on the next video. I assume I'll be doing Metal Flake. I just don't know. So, anyway. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.